file import str sinus maxilla and danger the danger we're going to move aside like that and then we're going to do some object management and we're also going to bring in the actual scanned the patient scan denture we can do that as well so here what we have is another scan denture i believe let's have a look that's the lower that's a denture and that's the upper cast. All right, we've got all the information to puzzle this thing together now. Note that this is our CBCT and this is exactly where it needs to, to stay. And I'm gonna lock these in place. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. So we cannot move these things at all. So in the model designer, click on lock and this one, click on lock. All other items we can move. <laughs> Object management always makes things easier. So we do that by doing three things. We're putting them in different collections. We're using colors and we're using names. This, for example, could go into a, a DICOM collection. So let us select both of these and M, move, and I'm going to call this DICOM. And then we can easily refer to these in the future. I'm going to make this model a certain color. So that's the sinus cavity. Let's make it like something like that. And then this one, we're going to give a little bit of a, like a bone, bone color or something, something like that. And then we're going to name these as well. Sinus cavity. And then this one becomes the maxilla. And then we can find these objects super fast. Okay, so this is a key to the success of all of this implant planning. Then with the alignment module, I've got an upper and a lower set of teeth. The upper is a denture and then we've got this one. So this is an edentulous area. What I want to do is I'm going to stick that one and put it into my model. So with the ICP alignment, I'm trying to place this inside of my model, inside of my denture. So I'm going to just be viewing it something like that. I'm not going to move this one, otherwise I'm going to move it out of occlusion. I want to keep that intact. So go to the alignment module, and this becomes the moving object, and this becomes the destination object, and we will select a few points. So place landmarks, I'll put one on the incisal papilla. We're going to put one here at the back, and another one over here. And because we're not working on a plane, we actually need one on the other side. So this covers the X and the Y direction, So, we, but we need one in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one here at the Freenum. That's four. Enter, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. So we're gonna put those into the denture problems I can't see what I'm doing so I'm going to hide that place landmarks and of course we need the order of our placement I think it was um, one two three four let us try that okay enter alt H to unhide we're going to then select both of these, select both, perform initial alignment. Oh, that looks okay. 
and then we're going to perform ICP. Oh, and that's good. And I'm going to refine this ICP a little bit. Perform ICP. Perfect. Couldn't be any better. So let, let us view this in cross section just to make sure. Okay, it's looking quite good. There, the denture is there. It's lifting a little bit at the back. And this is really relatively important because this becomes my fitting surface. Okay, we can fine tune that a bit later, but I think it should be okay. Actually, we'll fine tune it. I'm going to go hide this, and this is this is my destination. Actually, we will take the moving one. And I'll paint a whole surface of this. Alt A, C, grab this whole surface like that. Yeah, like this. Like that. It's perfect. Okay. Tab, Alt H. And we're going to click on Refine Proximity, which will then adapt the closest surfaces on the inside of the denture and perform. And that's moving it in a little bit more. Perfect. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to parent all of these and we need to bring this, this one we need to bring into alignment with our CBCT scan. Now it's important that we have the visible markers over here which we don't have. So I have to go back to the, the 3D slicer and make sure I extract these little balls out of the scan. So this is I forgot, but we're going to go back and do that. So here we are. We're going to add an, another one. I'm going to hide these away. We're going to move through. So we've got these little balls here. Okay. So these are our markers. So let us go and click on the segment, the threshold, and we will set this threshold. Oops. We may have to change the sliders all the way, other way around, like that. All right, so there we go. We've got these marked. Yes, perfect. Okay, this is the information we need. Apply that. We're going to go and these are the markers that we need, but we don't need anything else. So we can quickly clean this up a little bit so that we don't have that much that mu much information. Scissors, and we're going to erase the outside. No, we're going to erase the inside. It's quite a few markers. We don't even need that many markers. That should do it. Okay, so markers. and ex ex extract, export file, and we're going to go back to Blender. Okay, 
all right this is what I want to see but I don't want all of the, we don't need all of the other stuff with it so I'm going to go edit mode I'll select these markers left click and I'm going to go in the model designer and then I'll just click on clean that gets rid of all of the other stuff that's perfect that's exactly what I want to see now we're going to align this to the markers and then we're going to align all of this to the denture okay we're going to go to the alignment module and this becomes the moving and this becomes our destination and let's place these I'm going to go into a, into an anti-clockwise direction so Wow, there's a lot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't need that many. Honestly, three or four is way enough. But there, there must be more than two. Enter. And we're going to do the same on this one. So, place. Okay, select both, perform ICP, that's good, and perform the ICP, perfect, perfect so far. We can refine it, but I don't think it's necessary because we've got a quite a big selection going on over here. I will put it in nevertheless, but I don't think we're going to get a, a different result. Yes, we will. Maybe a little bit different. I think the last one was a little bit better. I'm going to go Control Z backwards. Yes, we're going to leave it like like this. Let's have a look in transparent mode. Yeah, you can see our markers are smaller than what our denture is. If you have a look here, our markers are smaller. That's because the person probably put some acrylic or something over these markers. So I think maybe tape would be better. Just very, very thin surface otherwise we're going to end up with a, a bulb of the cross of it and that will is not the ideal way of doing it but here we've got an equal layer more or less equal so please bear that in mind that should just be uh, cellar tape or something very very thin and not um, a bulbous insert of it okay we're going to leave it at that I'm going to move this denture into position. Alright, so we can do that by parenting. So th this one, select this one, shift left click that one, and this one last, and then control P to parent the object. And now when I move this, well it is locked, so if it doesn't move, unlock it. and all of the rest of it moves with it. So we're going to use the ICP to put this into position. Just going to grab and rotate it that I can actually get a good view of my points that I'm placing. Alright, something like that would be okay. That's perfect. All right, so let's ICP align this. Align. So we've got quite a bit of aligning to do. I don't. We can hide the rest because it's parented. 
it'll drag, it'll pull, pull with it. This is my moving, this is my destination, place landmark. So I'll place one over here, one on the premolar tip, another one on the premolar tip, and on the molar, and we need one more away from the plane. So what I'm going to do is we're going to place that one in between these teeth, like that. Okay. Perform ICP. We will refine this. Okay. Now we've got everything that we need in line, Alt H to unhide. And from the here on, we can start our implant planning. What I will do is I will unparent these objects. So by doing that, you select the children because the denture was a parent. This is a child. So Alt P, clear and keep transformation. Alt P, clear and keep transformation. And just we'll just do a little bit of object management. So these, this is the denture and the tissue model. Call this tissue model. And this is our denture. Lower denture, and that's our upper denture. We're going to put these into a different collection. Denture. And I'll put this one into our um, working, this is going to be our working model. Move. And we're going to just give that a color as well. Okay. So if you want to link the colors, select the one that you want and then left click to select it. Then control L on your keyboard and then you're going to click on the materials that will assume the same color. All right, and we've still got these little balls which we can also put into a collection. So I'm going to just hide this. This is our denture as well. So I'm going to put this into the denture category. So this is the, the um, CT denture. And we're going to throw this into the denture collection like that. Okay. And then we've got these markers. We're going to put those into the DICOM because it's part of the DICOM markers. Move, diagram. All right, so we can now, now continue. Please always save your stuff as you go.